So hello friends and hi everyone. Today we are going to talk about the point of control and a wonderful trading strategy, including the following points you can see listed here. What is the point of control? How to find the point of control in your chart? And what opportunities does the point of control create? And let's see some example of a point of control strategy. And of course, make sure that you stay until the end of this webinar, or maybe if you watch it on, on YouTube later, this video, when I'll be showing you how you always trade the price and only the price, no more, no less. So some words to me, I'm Marcus Gabel. I'm a trader, coach, mentor, speaker, more than 22 years right now. Um, and I've been trading, um, yes, more than 22 years right now. And if you want to have more information, have a look at my homepage, uh, dowhall-trading.com or trading and person, uh, personality uh, point, uh, dot de German side. In uh, this webinar series, uh, Trading Spotlight, I'm partnering with Admiral Markets, which is a Forex and CFD broker that offers trading on over 8,000 different financial instruments through one of the world's best trading platforms, MetaTrader 5. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this on YouTube, remember to like this video, share it with other traders and subscribe so you will never miss an episode. So guys, I hope you're doing good. And I just want to say welcome to Marcus time. It's Wednesday afternoon, it's Marcus time. And I'm really glad and so grateful that so many people share uh, that you share your lifetime with me. And you know, it's my mission to give you the best content uh, you can use for your own trading. Because normally after such a webinar, you are finally alone at home on the right side of the chart. But if you stay till the end of this webinar, you will see that we have an invitation, an invitation to you because we will never uh, leave a client behind of us. This wonderful trading spotlight community has its own community and we share everything, every trade with you. And so make sure that you be a part of this wonderful community because uh, this community proof that uh, we are successful in our kind of trading. So let's see guys. And uh, by the way, if you have any questions, then let me know. You can see me in the chat here. And of course, thank you for my wonderful colleague of Admiral Markets, uh, my host of this in this afternoon. I don't know who is there behind the scenes this afternoon, but uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for your time that you are uh, be with me in this uh, webinar and thanks to Admiral Markets that we can have this great uh, opportunity to give this content free to you. You can ask what almost whatever you want, unless my height or my weight. <laughs> also, you can you can ask whatever you want. It and last uh, um, at um, as soon as it is part of this webinar. Okay, so let's go on. What do we really trade? Let's see. And I don't know how long are you engaged in this trading right now, but it's a normal way that we come to trading that we focus on the obvious things like charts, candles or assets. So if I have a back look to my own trading career in the beginning, uh, I was focused on DAX and Dow, Euro, Gold. And I thought that time I trade this kind uh, of uh, those assets. And that was a special time. Um, I don't know. Uh, it was a couple of weeks I was trading the DAX. And after a couple of weeks, I really thought by myself, I'm the DAX expert. Uh, and and during my trading career, I met a lot of people uh, that were in my community or I taught them something. And sometimes there was a guy, he said, oh, I'm an oil expert. And when I, met, when I asked him, uh, so do, you, can, you can tell me what the market will do in the next minutes, then uh, he was a little bit confused about my question. 
because I I used to say if you are an expert, you know what will happen in the next time in the market, but at the end you know we are that's a kind of guessing, and uh, we are on the right side of the chart and nobody can knows, uh, nobody can know what will happen on the right side even in the next minute there, so first of all we have to figure out what do we really trade of course we trade assets we do trade assets but with a view clear or with a clearer view <laughs> a little bit different with a clearer view you can have a glimpse behind the scenes and with uh, such a clear view you will realize that you cannot trade for example the DAX itself, you cannot. Also, you cannot trade gold or you cannot trade Dow Jones. It is not possible to trade exactly these kinds of assets. So what else? What else do we trade? What's the solution? If you want to become a successful trader, you have to ask different questions, guys, not the obviously thing, not the obvious things. If you want to know what you really trade, you can compare trading with shopping in a store, maybe clothes or you go to a, a, some stuff, some food stuff store. And let's suppose you want to buy some strawberries. I love strawberries. In that case, you go to the store, you went to the shelf, you see the strawberries, and the first question after you checked uh, the quality of the strawberries, you ask about the price first of all. What do they cost? That's the point. So, and maybe you have a strawberry season right now, then you will pay less for such a box of strawberries. But if strawberries are not in the season, there is less supply and the price goes up. And come on, be honest to yourself. If strawberries are too expensive and there is, uh, beside of the box of strawberries, there are apples and they will cost the half of normal price, you will buy the apples. But in a normal case, not really strawberries if they cost double as in a normal way. So, but you know, throughout the complete year, the entire year, you have an average price, which is, we would say, the fair price. It's not so expensive, but it's not so cheap. It's a normal price. So let's see, uh, strawberries, I don't know, where are the girls around of, uh, among of us? Here, Sandra, uh, where are the girls uh, buying our food stuff for us? So I don't know what costs stories right now. Normally, if we are in the season, I guess 99 cent, maybe one euro 49 for one box. And maybe if you are outside, you pay 2.99 or 3.99. And we can say in the average for the whole of the year, I guess we will pay, how should I say, 194, 199 in average. So I would pay the less price, the cheap price, and I'm willing to pay a fair price, but I am not willing to price to pay an expensive price. So in that case, you can compare trading with your uh, buying, with buying some stuff or goods in a store. In trading, it is exactly the same as buying strawberries. You need to pay a certain price, no matter what you want to trade. Matter it is, no matter it is euro, gold, oil, or Dow, you need to pay the price of one of these assets. Maybe contract, one future contract of euro, or maybe I saw strawberries in the supermarket yesterday and they were 369 rolled. That's too expensive. Yes, I guess we don't have a strawberry season right now. It's more other things, but uh, 
it's depending how much you get for this for this uh, for this price but 369 is a little bit it's a little bit expensive i guess so i guess we have to buy an apple ronald <laughs> and we can buy apple salad fruit salad maybe so let's go back so you pay you need to pay the price for one contract of a dow future contract or maybe you have to buy a you have to pay a price for one lot of euro or maybe one ounce of gold or maybe one barrel of oil therefore what you are really trade is the price of such an asset and not the asset itself not at all this is what you need to understand because you cannot trade the dax but you can trade the price for one contract sit down lay back a little bit and think it through because it's correct you cannot trade the dax but you know you have to pay some amounts if you want to buy a contract for one future contract for one uh, dax future contract maybe so therefore we have to pay and we have to talk about the real price at the moment you realize that you are only trading a price your focus will switched because you can focus on the judgment of the price and this is completely different to think about oh how far will the ducks will go on or what's about gold how deep they will fall how deep they will drop down and something else now at that moment you realize that you trade the price your focus switch cause about the price there are only three questions is it cheap is it expensive or is it okay not what will do the dax in the next minutes don't care don't care about it doesn't matter so it's not interesting you need to know what's about the price at that moment you are on the right side of the chart and this kind of focus as i said takes you a step further away from focusing on the asset maybe large jones and the judgment of it as i explained uh, right now never forget guys you are on the right side of the chart and everything maybe you remember about the pen it's a pen for the dog from the dog it's a chew toy you know so who is right but both are right and if the pen is uh, is uh, lying there and no one is in the room what is this thing then in that moment you know nothing it's the concept of emptiness it's nothing so on the right side of the chart especially it's kind of your perception so there is no right or, no, or wrong on the right side of the chart it's only your kind of perception so and at the moment you focus your your uh, your your view your your you switch your focus from the judgment of any dax or gold or oil or something else to the pricing then you only have three questions cheap expensive or fair no more no less and this is a big big benefit in kind of trading to stay away from kind of emotions you know focusing on the price instead the asset reduces the emotions involved in trading we can have a certain opinion about a specific market always gold and oil oh my god gold uh, uh, oil drops so deep what will happen next this oil must rise again this is just this kind of opinion but it says nothing about the price and we usually don't have these opinions about the price you cannot okay you can have an opinion about the price but this but having an opinion will never bring you an advantage in trading and if you focus on uh, on the price you have this three opinions cheap expensive or fair and you don't need to have any kind of opinions because you have strong uh, strong proofs in the market where you can see 
what's about at the moment about the price. So if you are focused on the price, you only have this only focus on this one question or the three questions, cheap, expensive, or fair value. I repeat it very often because I want that you realize that. Switch your focus. Doesn't matter what you want to trade or what do you have on your plate at home, what you're watching on your charts. Doesn't matter, guys. You only trade the price. And this is the holy grail in trading. If you realize that, you will figure out what kind of price do you have. If you want to, if you want, uh, if you want to figure out what is the holy grail, this kind of glimpse about him behind the scenes, this is the holy grail. Holy grail. And you know, who is the holy grail? You. Only you. Not any kind of strategy, not the point of control. It is not the holy grail because there is no 100% strategy. You are the holy grail. And when I say, if you realize that, this is the holy grail because you have to realize that. It's an interesting, really interesting point. And as you see, at the end, always at the end, trading is a human thing. Only a human being thing. What do we know about the price, basically? There are seasons when the price is cheaper or more expensive. No special offer, and this is an interesting point, will last forever, which means after a while, the price goes back to a normal price. Compare it with, with uh, shopping. Go to the store, and you went through or went beside of, a, of, the, um, of the offers, and you can see, oh, there is sale, big sale. You can special offer sale. One week later, you go the same street, there is no special offer. Or some other things are in special offers right now. So you see, just maybe for one week or two weeks, you have a special offer at special clothes or shoes or something else, or especially in, in the for food stuff as well. Sometimes one week this is a special offer, next week this is special offer, but no special offer will last forever. Of course not. This is not kind of business of, of no kind of firms around the world. Sometimes the other point is sometimes we are outside of the season and the price is too expensive, but we know the next season will come and then the price will go down maybe to a normal price or maybe directly into a special offer. This special behavior of prices you can find in trading as well because we do trade the price. What wonderful news. And if you can handle this information properly, and you can switch your focus on that price, believe me, that's absolutely amazing. And this can have a huge impact to your own kind of trading because you can stay away from too many emotions like fear and greed or regret or hope because focus, focus on your price. And then you need to know What's about the price on the right side of the chart? So how does the price develop? And maybe you, um, you uh, recognize the chart on the left side here in this slide. Yes, you can see, what is it? It's oil. Yes, like every kind of price develops. How does the price develop? If you have more buyers, the price will increase as long as the buyers are willing to pay more expensive prices. On the other side, if you have more sellers, the price will decrease as long as the sellers are willing to accept cheaper prices. So we have wonderful examples last week's month in our markets. Look at oil and maybe face masks, you know? So oil sharply dropped down to zero. Yes, indeed, oil dropped down to zero. One barrel costs 
zero. And at a special week, in a special day in the, e or in the afternoon, we had one special front month contract in oil on the pitch in Chicago. That barrel oil, but just only one future contract, a special future contract of oil, costs minus 40 euros. Minus. So if you wanted to buy this contract, the seller have to give you some money to additionally to your barrel of oil. Why? No demand. Just only supply. Huge supply. Oil where in the uh, where uh, where um, where stored in the ships on the on the oceans. We have too much oil because you know due the coronavirus crisis, every firms are closed, every companies are closed, every industry were closed. Nobody needs oil. So no demand about oil. And you see, this was one of the best proofs and how should I say, um, examples, how the market really works. And especially oil was a really interesting example that you can understand that we trade the price. And even at the same time, we had the meeting of the OPEC and they said, we have to reduce uh, the, the oil, which we can get from, the, from, uh, from our industry. We have to reduce that to catch to 10 million um, a barrel per day. And they were hoping the price will increase, increase. But then Corona came out and nothing happens. Instead, the price dropped down to zero. And it won. It was a one time opportunity minus $40 per one contract, uh, per one, yes, one barrel oil. So, all the other thing, you know, um, face masks. One of my uh, best friends is, uh, is a dentist and I talked to him at my last visit and he said, this is amazing in a normal way. I have to pay for one mask, in average, around 40, 50 cents by one face mask. Now, and he's a dentist with his own, uh, uh, with his own company. Now he has to pay for one mask as a, as an, as a, with his own company, 1.149 uh, euros. And you know, go outside, try to pay one face mask, one euro, five euros, four euros, one damned face mask. You see, that is how the price works. If you have a lot of demand, a uh, lot of demand and no supply, the price increases like in face mask. A couple of months ago, no one needs face mask, only in the hospital or in some uh, companies, uh, med medical companies, something else like that. But no one needs face masks. But now I have, I don't know, three, five, four, five, four or five face masks here in my office, because if I have to go outside, I have to wear my face mask. So to see oil and face mask were a wonderful example how the market really works. So there come up a question, where do I have to focus when I start trading with Forex on the price, Karam? Uh, this is Karam, yes, Karam. On the price, let me explain a little bit. A couple of minutes later, I will show you the, the chart. Uh, but it's the same. You don't trade Euro USD. You don't trade Aussie dollar, Canadian dollar. You trade the price of one lot of one or one unit of this currency pair. So even, uh, uh, even Forex markets and uh, Forex uh, currencies has its own fair price. But let's take a look on it a little bit later. Okay, so now, if we talk about the price, we need to talk about the fair price. And in trading, um, and in trading, we call it 
the point POC, it's uh, the short for the point of control. And this is a market profile concept. And it's the, uh, it is the mark is the price at which most volume occurs in the market, in all markets, except Forex, we can say that the price with the highest volume in the previous period creates the point of control, which means this is the fairest price or fair value price. And uh, not even in the, not exactly in the, in the previous period, um, yes, in the, in a viewed period, maybe 1,440 periods in the past, there's a special time frame where I can watch the point of control. And around this POC, or around this so-called point of control, we can find a so-called fair value zone, which means 70% of the most traded volume takes place around the point of control. And everything outside of this so-called fair value zone is the unfair value zone. Below of it, it's the special offer time, it's sales and sale offer, it's too cheap. And above of the fair value zone, you have the expensive or the overvalued price zone. And that's all. And you see, it is not really complicated. So the point of control is visible in every market, time frame and chart. Why? Yeah, because we trade prices with a visible volume. This takes place in, uh, in every asset, you have an official order book. And in a so-called official order book, you can see the traded volume. And the point of control occurs at the price with the highest volume. So let's see a real example. And for that, as an uh, exception, I'll show you the future contract, maybe here from the DAX. So as you can see, this is the DAX, real DAX. So let's see. Yes, this is the real DAX. And this is the future contract you can see on the left side from uh, June. And here you can see the point of control is this gray line. It's around, it's exactly 11,719. And here the red number, here on the right side, you can see the order book. And at this special point, 11,790 points were traded 384 contracts. This is the highest volume at the whole day. So we started at this point at 11,558. We had the high point, uh, the daily high at 11,746. And within this complete volume zone, you have the fair volume zone. This is the red one with the so-called point of control. You see 384 contracts were exchanged there from buyers to sellers. This is the highest volume. Therefore, this is the point of control. And you can see outside or around the point of control we are traded 70% of the complete volume. And you see, we came from up. This is a different strategy. And since, I guess, 11.30 uh, this morning, the price were circling around the point of control. This is why you have this viewed or this visible sideways face. Very, very interesting. So maybe let's switch to uh, a share. This is Liberty Global um, uh, Company. And here, the same one. So we can open here the, the order book. And here you can see the point of control from uh, in the last one year. This is around about four hourly chart. The last one year, the fair price is placed at $18.38. And at the moment, today, we have, for today, we have a special price, not in the four-hourly chart. Maybe if we can switch to the daily chart, or to the uh, minute chart, that we can see the daily volume, we can see at 
maybe $9.88 at the moment, where I traded around about 50,527 uh, shares, where switched there from buyers to sellers. Point of control is similar to city center where we see highest level of investment of the city. Yes, maybe you can compare it with that. So let's go back to the DAX. You can see this is the fairest price. And in every asset, you have an official order book like this one. And you could see there was no change from the point of control, 384 points. But if you understand this point, you can imagine that if you will have during the trading day, another point where we created the highest volume, the point of control will switch to the new point. But if you watch this volume graph here on the left side, you can see where the volume will grow and here or increase, maybe this where we have a price exactly right now, 11,694 roundabout, then you can see if the price will take place here for a longer time, then you will see that the point of control will switch to the lower side, cause more than 384 contracts will share, will exchange there, and then the point of control will switch. But this is amazing. And without such an information, guys, ladies and gentlemen, without such an information, you will stumble blind into your market. Because, quick reminder, you trade the price, guys. And for the price to have a correct or probably, uh, if you want to judge the price really properly, you need this information, where is the fair price and where is an unfair price zone. So this was just a quick example about uh, the real price. So let's go to our slides. In Forex market, yes, in Forex market, there's a little big difference. Because while we have in all markets, futures, commodities, shares, bond, uh, bond market, where you have an official order book, or we can see the real traded volume. So how many contracts will switch from one to the others? The Forex market is a so-called OTC or over-the-counter market. It's completely outside from an official order book. In Forex market, there doesn't exist any kind of official order book. So, and therefore, we cannot see the real traded volume. So, in this kind, but we can help, but we trade also the price the price of one lot, maybe from, uh, how should I say, from uh, Euro to USD. The Forex market works with so-called tick volume. And every trade between two parties creates one tick without knowing how much volume behind the trade. In trade Forex market, for me, it is not interesting because everything I need to know, I can see in the chart. And we can say the more ticks or the more trades we can see at a certain price, the more valuable the price is. That doesn't mean that at the point of control must take place the highest volume. That doesn't mean in Forex market, but we can see where, how much valuable uh, or how valuable the price at the point of control is and how comfortable feel the price, where is it right now? And with this added tick volume, we can create the point of control, 70% of the tick volume around the point of control, and of course, the unfair price on above and below. And the price with the most ticks is the so-called point of control in Forex market. So this is the, the big, big difference between uh, with knowing how many volume we can see to the Forex market where we cannot see how many volume uh, there is. Therefore, please uh, realize the different wording 
in shares, in futures, in commodities, in bonds, where we have an official order book, we call it the volume uh, profile. Because we know the volume. We can see DAX, you know, 384 contracts were changed there, were exchanged there from buyers to sellers. In Forex market, you cannot call it volume profile. You only can say in Forex market, market profile, because you don't know the real volume. We only know the tick volume, how many ticks, that's the, uh, the fair price. So please be aware of that. If you try to explain it to your friends or another one, then make the difference between the volume profile in uh, all the assets you can have, a con you have, you have, you can have a look at the order book and the Forex market, which is called the market profile. Please big, big difference. So if you don't have uh, such a special volume or market profile indicator, in my opinion, it's really hard to find a point of control. It's not impossible, but it's really hard. If you have a proper knowledge about how prices develop and enough experience, more, I guess, a couple of years, then you can find the rough point of control on your chart. So let's have a look at the chart on this, on this slide. As you can see in this chart, the point of control used to be at that point where the price stayed for most of the time with this viewed period. It is a kind of average in the chart. That's with, um, uh, with enough experience in the charts, you can figure out the point of control roundabout. Not always, sometimes it's really, really, really hard. What you never can figure out without a technical tool is indeed the fair value zone because you cannot count by or calculate by yourself 70% of the tick volume in the Forex market. You cannot do that by yourself. Because uh, there is behind of that is a calculated mass. So, uh, two, let's see. Um, let's see some examples. So, this is the DAX. So, where do you will find now the point of control? Um, of course, in DAX, we could see normally the fair price because uh, we can see the volume. But let's uh, try to figure out the so called point of control. So in my opinion, I would say, where stayed the price at the most time? And then you will see, okay, in this period, I would say round about here in this, this row, in this space round about, I would say there is the point of control. So, but I cannot, I cannot recognize the real, um, the fair value zone. So therefore, I have an indicator for that. And let's uh, see where is the point of control right now. In this period, this chart, you can see it's around about 12,260 points. So there you can see there's the point of control with the fair price. So as you could see, you don't need, how should I say, you don't need this kind of indicator but it may be, it's uh, a good thing you have such one. Uh, it's not to find in MetaTrader, let me explain that. It's not to trade, it's developed by myself or by one colleague. And uh, during the next two weeks, we will announce, we will give an announcement that we can publish uh, this kind of indicator if you want to use it. So let's open maybe, um, so let's close that. I want to give you another example. So let's open this one. So without one, without any kind of indicator. So now we can see this is the this is the full since December 2018. So now figure out where is the point of control. I guess with a little bit distance. I would say it's round about here. I would, it's kind of guessing where stayed the price most of the time. I would say here, round here in this, 
in this area roundabout exactly you cannot find so what is it eight i guess rounds eight uh, 1.86 85 roundabout so let's see let's see so just a minute here we go fair price you know, see completely different it is 198 so but this is a little bit uh, yes it's uh, just only one year in the back so you see uh, it's very very interesting to know where is the point of control and around of that the fair value zone so let's get go back to the slides just figure out some opportunities and trading and trade strategies with the point of control in my opinion the moment you understand that we only trade the real price and only the price you will have moved a big step towards success believe me that when my mentor told me this one it was kind i discovered a whole new world in my trading and at that at that moment my trading curve my success curve uh, rise rise and rise with this and it's a deep insight ladies and gentlemen but with this deep insight you will understand the prices the prices moves always from fair to unfair and the same way that the price for strawberries is low in the season and expensive outside the season but at the end the price always comes back to a fair price with this deep insight you can create a wonderful an amazing strategy because this kind like in strawberries this kind of behavior works in trading as well the price of an asset moves depending you think about oil and face mask on supply and demands from the point of control to unfair price zones depending of supply and demand and back so as you can imagine the best opportunities are pure if you see the price deep in an unfair price zone, it's too cheap or too expensive because we know that the price will go back to a normal and fair zone. It's a great trend strategy. We can use this price behavior to make money. Let's see a cup. Let's see an example again. Look at this one. I have. Uh, <clears throat> that's this one what happened here right now you can see this is the price i don't call it us dollar canadian dollar switch your focus one lot costs of this or one unit of this us dollar canadian price costs at the moment 137.7 canadian dollar that costs one unit of it or one lot whatever you call it so as you can see we came from 14667 from a high price and the point of control is placed here at round 132 and what what does the price do the price came from an unfair price zone back in direction of the point of control and as you can see i trade this and with my four rules i need a trend i need a young trend i need to come out of the correction and my i need a balanced candle in heikinashi and my target is the point of control you can see it really works so same maybe this one look at this one oh, this is the price price of one lot Aussie Japanese yen 7107 cost one lot of uh, Japanese yen of this currency pair and as you can see we came mid of March 59 and the point of control is placed at 74 roundabout and as you can see the price develops a trend depending of supply and demand 
and indeed goes back in direction of the point of control. And this will happen almost every time, except the point of control will switch to another price. You can see this is a kind of historical, the, if you follow the red line, you can see sometimes the point of control switched, but it was around since almost one year back, it was around 74 Japanese yen. And you could see the price always came back from unfair to fair price zone, especially in this, uh, in this, uh, in this time frame, of course. So let's have a quick look at Euro Canadian dollar price of Euro Canadian dollar. So you see the point of control is placed here at around about 145, uh, 46.30. And you could see the price was here at 159. And then the price come back, the price comes back, actually comes back in direction of the point of control. As long as the point of control will not switch to another price where the market will show me, okay, I'm ready to give this uh, my fair price right now. So, and this is how you can work with the so-called point of control cause you know, you trade the price, no more, no less. And indeed guys, this works in almost every time frame. Look at this one. I'm in profit here with 876 pips at the moment, what will happen? That's weekly chart. Uh, the point of control is placed here in this currency pair at around about 170, around 70. And you see, we were completely outside and the price in weekly chart came back or actually comes back to the point of control. So with this, this is not a rocket science. This is easy, easy, easy trading. And with this really easy trading, you can focus on your life. Personal development, enjoy your life and let the market work for you. The graph is already happened and as the egg shows, it sometimes goes so high and sometimes goes so low. So how are we do going to predict the next peak? Suppose we are trading. Wait, you need to wait. That's easy, that's the kind of strategy. Wait if the price is in the unfair value zone. It's a kind of strategy. Wait for it, wait for it. Doesn't matter what kind of, uh, maybe let's see uh, this one. Or let's see, yes, this one maybe. You can see, wait for a, any kind of asset. It works in shares uh, indeed as well. If the price, as long as the price in the unfair value zone, then wait for a trend. And then in the next correction, maybe in the next correction, if you have a trade, go into, or I would go into and set your target at the point of control. And you could see it works. So this is not really, uh, this is not really uh, difficult. The only point is you're on the right side of the chart as long as you are within the red zone, you don't have to do anything. But if you have a price in cheap or in expensive zone, then wait for a trend and trade in direction of your point of control. So you see, this is a kind of education and you can learn that, but it's not enough to watch a webinar. I would say, take a mentor and let you, uh, let, uh, uh, let teach you and then you can learn it on the long run, of course. So Jesus Christ, let's make a conclusion. Remember you trade the price and never the asset itself. If you are focused on the price, you can more easily reduce emotional trading. And since we trade the price, we can identify the unfair price and the fair price or the so-called point of control. All price move, all prices move, including in trading stories and price in trading as well. We can use these uh, price movements for really awesome strategies. And you can follow my, and you can follow us if you want, our trading spotlight community, real trading from Jens, Paul and myself. 
and you can see how we react when our trades go their own way or maybe they don't of course because we have managed our own uh, emotions as well tradersyard.com and then the trading spotlight group 312 or especially trading spotlight community don't forget jens on friday when he will show you how to learn carry trading forex including what are carry trades how do they work in forex and the risk of trading uh, of carry trading on friday 29th of may same time same place and i want to say thank you to admiral markets to encourage me to support me with this trading and i hope you learned a little bit if you have any questions contact us by the normal channels here and i want to say thank you for your lifetime i hope that you learned a little bit and you have your benefit for your own trading if you have any questions you know you have my homepage or get to admiral markets with this in your mind guys be careful about your thoughts because they are the beginning of your actions. See you. Bye-bye.